Welcome to ICMISC. Today I am going to explain the method of bacteriophage infection of a bacterial cell. The first stages of any productive bacteriophage infection requires the bacteriophage to adsorb onto the host cell. Now once this adsorption happens, the bacteriophage injects its DNA into the bacteria and that leads to the further process. To achieve this goal, the phage virion must undergo a series of conformational changes so that this DNA injection happens. I will explain this process by using the example of the bacteriophage T4 and E. coli on which the bacteriophage T4 plays. So now imagine a bacteriophage as an imagine T4 just floating around the E. coli cell. Now for T4 to infect E. coli, it must adsorb as explained earlier. So this adsorption occurs by the usage of the long tail and the short tail fibers which are present on the tail of the bacteriophage. So, the last protein of the long tail fiber is GP37, which is present in this area. GP37 interacts with the OMC receptor present on the cell surface. Once, once three of these interactions are taking place, that is, if there are more than one long tail fibers as you can clearly see. Once three of them have interacted with the OMC receptors, the protein at the base plate of which connects the long tail fiber to the capsid changes conformation which leads to the bacteriophage some, uh, squatting, if that makes more sense. So, what that leads to is that the short tail fibers now also have a chance of interacting with something present on the cell surface. In this case, it is LPS. The short tail fibers interact with LPS, leading to more conformational changes, finally leading to the bacteriophage starting to inject its DNA. As you can see, the DNA is inserted through the pores, the hole is formed, and finally DNA enters into the cytoplasm. Once this is done, the, bacter the bacteriophage promoters force the bacteria to make more or more copies of the bacteriophage DNA, the capsid. So it leads to a series of capsules. Once the phage DNA enters the bacteria, the DNA forces the bacteria to essentially make further copies of the phage itself, as in more copies of the DNA, the capsid, the tail proteins, the head, essentially all of it. So much so, so that there are, the number of phages increase close to 100 to 150 times, finally leading to the cell bursting, phage particles getting released into the medium, which further go on and infect other cells. I hope you understood the mechanism of bacteriophage infection. If you like this video, Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.